guys, I'm Nathan and welcome back to the channel. In the recent 8.2 release, we've added some new record modes that not only applies to audio, but also applies to MIDI as well. So I have a drum groove from the Q page in slot A, and that's fired off by the Q marker on the timeline. And I also record electric guitar, but I think this song needs a little bit of bass. So I'm gonna right click here and choose a MIDI track, and I've chosen my Moto Bass instrument. And it's going to give me the option to do a few different configurations, but I'm just going to choose automatic and press add. So to record anything in Mixbus, you want to make sure that the track header is armed. And I also have my launch key 25 MIDI selected as my MIDI input. Also for recording MIDI, I want to make sure that my buffer size is pretty low. Thanks to my really fast M1 Mac, I can choose 64 samples, which will give me a very low latency recording, but anything under 512 should be fine if you can't go that low. So the first mode is layered mode, and this is the default setting, whether you record audio or MIDI. And this means each new recording that you make will create an opaque layer that obscures any layer below it. So now if you click on the region and hit Z, it'll zoom into that MIDI region and you can see we have the grid line showing through the region itself. I can click on this region and choose Control 5 or Alt 5 on a PC and I can quantize this based on the main grid, which I do have set to 1 16th. So that takes my almost perfect performance and makes it a little bit better. So now let's record another layer. So that is my second performance, but as you notice, you don't see the notes underneath because each layer is opaque. If I go to my stacked view, I can see both regions that I recorded, and this works just like audio. And it means I can edit each performance individually and then choose to edit the layers together later on for my final performance. I'm gonna go ahead and quantize this top layer. So control five, quantize to the main grid. So let's take a listen to a little bit of that. Okay, so all the notes that I played on the first performance, you cannot hear because the top layer is opaque. For the next recording mode, we have non-layered. In this mode, the underlying audio will be replaced with the resulting new region. Both layered and non-layered modes are non-destructive, meaning you can undo your changes or re-layer and retrim the regions to expose the parts that were hidden. I'm now gonna record a part over the second half of this progression. Now I'm gonna use layered mode for this recording. So now we have two different layers and I can go ahead and quantize this top layer. So control five, quantize, and I can pull this one back to reveal the layer below it. And the last mode is sound on sound. And this means each new layer will be transparent and you'll be able to see and hear your previous material. And now I wanna record a bass solo over this progression, but keep it on the same track. If 
I go back to my layered view, you can see I now have my bass solo across the top and the main bass part on the bottom, and we can see both at the same time. It's not a perfect performance, but being able to record in different layers allows me to go back and edit this layer without touching the other layers. Let me go ahead and quantize this. Control 5. And let's actually make this 132nd note to keep some of the nuance in my performance. see right there at the end I hit a wrong note so I can go into my internal edit mode choose the note and press delete to go into internal edit you press the E key and now you can use your mouse to edit any note that you want but the normal operation you want to be in grab mode by hitting the G key all right so that's my final bass performance if you have any questions about recording or editing with MIDI be sure to leave a comment down below and check the Mixbus 32c manual for more information Until next time, I'm Nathan from Harrison Consoles, and I'll see you in the next video.